everybody, Arnaldo Wofferman here. Today I want to show you something that I'm pretty excited to be using and I think you're going to really like it too. So back in March at Mobile Beat, I had a chance to talk with Michael Anderson. And a lot of you guys know him because he's been working alongside Randy Bartlett on updates to the 1% solution. But Michael Anderson has been doing this awesome DVD series that I'm actually going to be doing some videos on, on the 1% solution tools and what it is, it allows you to use your video projector for a monogram. And it's kind of a controversial subject because, you know, there's this opinion, there's that opinion, I have my opinion. But I'm going to give you guys a video real soon on that. There's some really great tools that even if you just use a traditional global projector, there's still some great ideas in that DVD and a lot of value in those tools. But more on that later. Alongside the DVDs, Michael had a projector mount. Now, almost everybody out there has some sort of projector mount. But there's something wrong with all of them, in my opinion. The one that I have uses like 20 million screws to put together. <clears throat> the other one that I have, you know, it just locks in nicely, but then it doesn't actually lock into the pole. <clears throat> the other one that I have doesn't actually hang from clamps. <clears throat> and then the other one I have, it just doesn't lock in properly, and it just doesn't allow me to switch projectors fast and easy. And honestly, I think Michael had the same issues because he found something that alleviates all that. So let's go ahead and take a look. We got three individual pieces here, okay? We've got this mount. And this mount is really cool because if you notice, tons of holes everywhere. It's very simple. No matter what size of projector you have, this will align with it where you can put it on your projector and put the screws in. In the center is a little screw right there, or mount for a screw, which goes to this guy. So this guy here comes in three pieces. Our first part, comes off, right? And this basically almost looks like a camera tripod, right? You've got this here. We're just going to lock this in. I'm not going to do it super tight. I just want to show you real quick here. All right. And then this guy locks in. There's a little button that you have to press. And basically a button prevents your projector from sliding off. <laughs> Thank God. And then you lock it in. Versatility is key. And Michael Anderson really thought about that when he did the Living Motion Monograms projector mount. Because see, some projectors actually do have a tripod mount. Actually, I have like eight projectors to do. So we just mount the projector on there, lock it in, and you're good to go. Same way. Now check this guy out here, right? We've got this little screw. It locks into your stand nice and tight. All right. We've got this guy right here. It actually even shows you you know, the angle that you have. So you have it straight on at zero degrees. You can turn it 15, 30, 45. That's pretty neat, especially if you're going to be doing some precise lighting design. And then you can move this around. And there's two individual wing nuts for that. And there you go, or thumb screws for that. You can have your projector directly down. That, that was it right there, okay? When I saw it, I'm like, good. Because the other two mounts, you know, two of the mounts that I have that do almost everything I want them to do, only go like this. I'm like, well, that sucks because sometimes I need him to go straight down and this guy could do it. And locks in. And once you lock it in, it ain't moving. So I really like that. But I do a lot of stuff from trussing and I want to hang my projectors. So what happened is I had to buy some mounts for my truss. I have to buy some mounts to go on stand. That's twice the money that I'm spending. Not with this guy, but check this out. We're just going to take it, just going to screw it right out. It's an M8 bolt, so now I can just take a clamp. I'll use one of my Global Trust clamps, mount it in, and there we go. Now, that 90 degree angle is very important for me because if I want to do a projector straight down, and this isn't just for monograms. If I'm doing video screens, if I'm doing projector mapping, this is important. I need to be able to get the precise angle so I can projector map the surface that I need. And even though projector mapping doesn't require it to be as strict, if I need it to be straight down, I need it to be straight down. This allows me to do that just like that. And I can lock it in nice and tight. Absolutely love it. It's nice, discreet. It's an all metal design too. The only plastic that you see are in the thumb screws. There is absolutely no skipping in quality in this projector mount. Guys, this is the Living Motions Monogram Video Projector Mount. Look, even if you don't use a video projector to do monograms, and that's fine. 
you know, I'm the same way. I like using a regular gobo projector, but I have used a video projector for a last minute a monogram or gobo design needed to be done, or if I needed to do some video mapping. And that's the most important part. Even if you don't use a projector for gobo projecting, after a while, you may get into doing rear projection video. Even putting a projector on a table can be a pain because if you're not video mapping, you want to line it so it looks perfect with the screen and you have it on a table. Somebody bumps into that table, well, there goes your projector. So now you can bring a good sturdy tripod. You can put this guy on your tripod with the mount right here, and you're good. If you're doing school events, right, like I am, you're doing a, a large school event and you need a video screen done, but you can't do rear projection, now I can hang this on the trussing high enough and put my screen up high enough that I can do front projection and not have to worry about people blocking the screen. But if you want the big money, I'm talking the good making big money, video mapping is where it's at. And I use Arkea's uh, media software. You know, I use Media Master and Gram VJ XT. And both of those allow me to do video mapping. If you're going to go into that, you need to have a way to hold your projector that's not going to move. It's going to be steady. It's going to look good. It's going to be professional. It's going to hold the weight. This guy is it. It's easy to use. It's affordable. And it's got different ways to hang a projector. I love it. One tool, multiple uses, efficiency. That's what I'm all about. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Any comments, questions, whatever, leave them below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down. I don't care. You still watch the video. But thumbs up is better. And remember, this is a standard tripod mount. So you can mount your DSLR on it. If you don't like those GoPro mounts because maybe you don't want to hang a GoPro over people's head with those plastic mounts that it comes with, mount it with this. Easy said and done. So again, guys, thanks so much for watching. My name is Arnaldo Waffman. Have a great night and God bless.